Organized Ghanaian supporters hit the streets of Accra to protest against the non-issuance of visas by the Canadian Embassy to go witness the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup on Wednesday. The Canadian High Commission in Ghana have gone on a mass refusal of Ghanaian visa applicants who intended to travel to support the Black Princesses at the World Cup. Over 4,000 Ghanaian visa applicants were refused visas by the High Commission without just cause. Even high-ranking government officials and other personalities, despite fully satisfying all travel requirements, irate Ghanaian fans decided to hit the streets and protest of what appears to be a clear policy of the Ghanaian embassy not to let in any Ghanaian. This policy is believed to have been influenced by reports over 200 Ghanaian fans who traveled to Brazil for the 2014 World Cup and applied for political asylum under the false pretext of tribal war in Ghana. Leaders of the National Supporters Unions, Aziz Haruna Futa, Guntu and Abraham Boachi explained their actions. We hereby write to the Canadian Embassy, at least to be fair to us as Ghanaian supporters, which we have traveled to the various tournaments, to the various tournaments and different countries to support our football as we are in Ghana. We are doing it for Ghanaians. What Canada Embassy did against Ghana supporters and fellow Ghanaians is not good. Because if you know that you won't give us visa, you don't have to take our money. The shabby treatment and the improper consideration the Canadian Embassy has shown to Ghanaians. We hope this demonstration is going to send a message to them. But we are showing, we are, we are showing you this demonstration is going far. If not, some of us will go to Geneva, the FIFA dog gate, and do the same thing there. Thank you. This move by Ghanaian immigrants is said to have heightened unduly and to some extent unfairly the extent of scrutiny of foreign missions in Ghana. The demonstration was first planned to take place last week, but was put off after an assurance by the sports ministry to make an intervention. This intervention never came. Awakening the intent of the demonstration, the protesters started their peaceful procession at the brass sports at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle and made their procession along the principal streets of Accra and eventually ended in front of the Canadian High Commission situated at Ridge.